Hello Capricorn, <coughs> here we are again, <coughs> excuse me, what can the sign of Capricorn expect in their love life please for this time, what can the sign of Capricorn expect in their love life for this time please, what messages and energies do you have for the sign of Capricorn in their love life? One more shuffle. Here we go. Knight of Pentacles. The devil. Delays, 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 delays. <clears throat> so slow moving. External forces halting the progress. You want to get on something, but it's been so slow. Mm -hmm. Not surprising in the last few months with this COVID, it's caused you a headache. You know, sleepless nights, worrying, stressed. Recent past, King of Swords, that's all about authoritative figures. You know, Could be the person that you're connected with, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There was some amount of success here with the Six of Wands. Near future, Two of Cups. Looks like you two will come together again. I feel you were together in the past. You know, on holiday or whatever, you spent some time together and then just you parted and this this dreaded COVID thing, government lockdowns, this law, that law, five of swords. It's all about, you know, bickering, arguments, being stressed, being on edge. It's not surprising. You know, being on tender hooks. There's been communication there, though, lots of it. Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's, the communication has kept the love alive. And the High Priestess. She's not only about secrets, she's all about following intuition and tuned in, turned on. Being emotionally fulfilled, spiritually fulfilled. Okay, let's this Knight of Pentacles. What are you all about? Yeah. So slow this energy, this delays, hold ups, nothing happening, this cycle is closing. Things I feel will start to move. You know, this devil energy, this toxic energy. Yeah, again, burdensome. You've been shouldering this for a while and it's coming to an end. Tens are all about conclusions. You know, this sour energy of delays and that is, is literally, it's finishing. You're coming out the other side of it. Nine of Swords. Yeah, it leaves the stress. You'll calm down with the temperance. Become more balanced as these lockdowns are eased. Yeah, of recent past. Well, not no. I'm just going to call this the past position because this could have happened six months ago, two years ago. So. You know, I'm using a Celtic cross, so I'm just going to call this the past position, not the recent past, not the distance. It's just the past position. This is you, definitely. You know, there you are, secure, feeling very secure with this person, the connection. Then bang comes the COVID and, you know, 
drops a whole heap of delays and crap. Sorry, <laughs> but this is the connection. And if it is an air sign, they're very confident. Maybe don't. Communication between you two has been of a practical nature, I feel, because, you know, the security, practicality here, and sword energy, they they don't wear the heart on their sleeve. I know, because I'm an Aquarian. Air energy. Six of Wands. What are you all about? Yeah. Yeah, because pro because things have halted your progress, it's become a ball ache. You know, it's caused a lot of pain between you two. Of separation, I feel. You miss them. You miss them. And they miss you. There's two of cups. Finally, as we come out of this delay era, you can act. As I say, the communication between you two, this is the magician, is all about communication and taking action. Putting everything he's learnt together, and tarot is not gender specific, I say him, because this is a guy in the picture, but it's that kind of energy. So, don't think, oh, I'm not a man, so this is not true for me. The magician, it's all about communication and taking action, on lessons learnt in this connection and lessons learnt from outside influences. This Five of Swords. Yeah, it's this being stuck, being restricted has caused you so much agitation. Wouldn't surprise me if you hadn't literally stood in front of the door and gone bang, bang, bang. When is this going to end? This restrictive energy. It's it's how you're feeling at the moment. You're feeling so restricted. This, this Ace of Swords is... This is a lovely energy. I love this energy. Oh, a Knight of Wands. Finally, communication of action. Come over, or I'll come to you. New adventures coming in. Happiness. Having fun. Getting back together. Travel, spontaneous choices. You know, they, they they could say, what the hell, I'm coming. Restrictions are lifting, I'm getting on a plane, I'm going to wear my mask, and I'm coming. That's the energy. This Ace of Cups, it's a beautiful energy. Yeah, you haven't had chance... Yet, or maybe some of you have had the chance to express your love. This King of Cups here is a person who doesn't normally express their love, but it's certainly there. They may, you or them may have expressed it or not have expressed it yet, but there is definitely a solid love there. What's this High Priestess? Page of Pentacles, lovely energy, High Priestess, getting to know each other, working things out, getting together, doing things differently, doing things differently to how you were six months, a year ago, you know, planting new seeds together. This Page of Pentacles is, you know, coming together and assessing the risks involved and moving forward together. I hope that's helped Capricorn and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.